kind of herb section. I use powders mostly because I'm a lazy bitch and I really can't be asked to boil things and things like that. <laughs> to my YouTube channel. I am going to do another video today on herbs. So I'm going to take you on a little mini tour of my herbal cupboard, what I've got in there, some of the regular herbs that I use. And yeah, I will be doing another video later on on my essential oils because I also have quite a few of those and I'll do them on a separate video. And I'll also go through some of the individual uses of the herbs in a separate video as well. Otherwise I'll be here all day because it takes a while. So let me show you to my cupboard. This is my herbal cupboard. So this has like most of my herbs in, so you can see here. This has quite a few. Now this is like my kind of herb section. I use powders mostly because I'm a lazy bitch and I really can't be asked to boil things and things like that. Um, but yeah, just starting to show you some of the things I've got in there. So one of the first things is sea moss. So this is um, actually dried sea moss. A patient gave this to me. I think she got it from St. Lucia. So thank you, patient. Shout out to you. Um, but yeah, normally I take the herb, um, the powder version of this. Sea moss is great because I get my calcium from sea moss. As many people may know, dairy is not the best one to get your calcium from. Aside from it being mixed with a lot of other ingredients that they don't tell us about, um, it's also highly acidic. And um, there, I think it was a study, I think it was via Harvard, correct me if I'm wrong, that showed actually people that had increased dairy have reduced bone health. So obviously that's not ideal. Um, so I get my calcium, obviously I don't eat dairy products, but I get my calcium from sea moss. It's also got like 99 minerals in that match our minerals. It's great for removing waste from the stomach. It's great for um, thyroid issues. I use it to help cure my underactive thyroid. I had an autoimmune problem with it. Um, mixed with bladder rack. Um, I refused to go on medication and I changed my diet and took these and surprise, surprise, my thyroid got better to the shock of the doctor. But yeah, so this is a really, really great one. Um, it's got many, many benefits. So I love seeing this. That's one of my favorites. As you'll probably see them if you follow my Instagram. Always love seeing this. The other thing that I love is ginger. Now, ginger I use with my juicer. Um, which you can kind of see in the background here. So I put a little bit of this in, probably only like that about about that amount, with some lime, and actually blend this and then mix it with spring water. It makes a really refreshing drink for the morning, especially before you've eaten, because um, we're actually not meant to eat a very large breakfast. I think it was actually Kellogg's that actually made up that breakfast is the most important meal of the day to sell more products. Crazy. I don't tend to eat a lot in the morning, usually just a bit of fruit or something like that. Um, and yeah. I love a bit of ginger. Obviously, we all know ginger is a great thing. To go into my herbal cupboard and show you what I've got. So, sea moss, again, in the powder version. I got this from the Alkaline Shop in Brixton Hill. You may be able to find this at a local herbal shops. I source my herbs from different kind of um, places. So, I source some from local herbal shops, some from Herbs of Grace online. I also saw some from... Um, Herbals Direct. I've sourced a few from eBay and Amazon, but obviously you have to double check the ingredients, etc. Check the reviews before you buy them. Um, and yeah, so this one I got locally. Herbs of Grace is great because it's local. That's for the UK. I think from America, Herbs of Mexico is a good one. But yeah, so CMOS is my favourite. I also got sent these from International Healing. I really, actually, really, really like their products. So thank you very much. This is the Mineral Lux, which is for um, vitamin and minerals. This is, again, my favourite Irish moss, CMOS and Bladderac. Um, I've got bladder rack separately as well. I use that for my thyroid because it's, it's got iodine in it. Um, and it's also very good for things like anxiety. So, yeah, I love that. Um, sea salt because obviously you've got to have the healthy salt. Um, so, yeah, I use sea salt. Sea salt's actually got some health benefits. But, again, you shouldn't overdo it because overdoing anything too much is bad anyway, even if it's good for you. I've got um, cocoa mecca. I don't really use this. I honestly don't know why I bought it, but... Yeah, I've never used this yet, mainly because I'm not really too sure what to do with it. I'm guessing you can boil it, but I'm going to look that one up. Um, the other thing is a mason jar. These are great if you want to make like your own tinctures and things like that in a glass mason jar. So I always save one of these just in case. Um, so yeah, that's that side of things. I've also got quite a few tablets I've got from International Healing that you can see here. Um, this is the digestive fix. I haven't taken all of these yet. This is... Um, Got prickly pear and sarsaparilla bladder rack. Um, again, love sarsaparilla, great anti inflammatory. Um, but I haven't taken these yet. This is the Oxymax. So, this is for the oxygen and blood of the lungs and the rest of the body. I'm assuming great for energy. Um, this has got linden, yellow dock, tilo, and little of the valley. Again, I haven't taken any of these yet. This is an alpha cleanse. I like to try and cleanse my body as much as I can, like 
I don't know, every two, three months, try and do a little body cleanse, as in like um, either fast or do a juice or go on a raw food diet for a bit, and this is the best time that I take these. Um, and again, this has got Indian fig, Romix Crispus, and some Bucus. I honestly don't know much about those ones individually, so I need to look that up. But as I said, I haven't started taking these ones yet. Um, I've got some strange DVD. I think these have gone off. I don't think they were black before. I think they were green. Not too sure. They got given by a patient. I don't even know. That means they don't need them, to be honest. Um, more bladder up powder. Let me get a bladder up. And then I've got um, elderberry. Elderberry is great for like colds and flus and things like that. But as I said, I will go into detail more in some separate videos. But yeah, I've got that elderberry one there as well. I tend to boil a lot of my herbs and take shots. So I think for like the roots, Normally I'd boil for two hours and then like just steep the herbs in for another two hours. And I tend to kind of like take one or two shots of that a day because I just find it's quick and easy. Like most people, I work really long hours. I run my own company. Like I've got quite a busy lifestyle, loads of stuff to fit in. So I do try to do things the quickest way I can um, just because it can be time consuming. This is my sarsaparilla powder. As I said, I use this as an anti-inflammatory. It's got loads of other benefits as well. But the sarsaparilla powder there. Um, this one I got from Tesco. I find these a bit of a rip-off though. I find them quite expensive. This is my green super blend powder. This is good for protein and fiber. Again, I don't get my protein obviously from animal products, so after the gym I will either use this or my hemp protein, which you'll see, or I use like a vegan um, protein powder that I bought from somewhere. Um, these things obviously I tried to take those because I find a lot of the protein products can have a lot of chemicals in, which are great for you. Um, you don't have to get your protein from animal products. It's actually got a lower protein count than a lot of plant products. I think like the thing with the most protein in the world, like the highest percentage is a plant that grows in the sea. It's not actually an animal product. I don't think the animal product comes anywhere near the percentage of protein that the plants have. And obviously the animals get their protein from the plants. So it's kind of like secondhand protein. This is a great source. So you don't have to have those foods to get your protein source. If you're a gym girl, as I said, I do a lot of strength training and this is what I use. Okay, so you don't need to worry if you don't intake me because these are fine. Um, and yeah, then I've got my um, organic hemp protein, as I said, I use that after the gym and a smoothie, just a teaspoon of that. Um, my iron cleanse, I got this from a lady that she met at a Dr. Zebi event locally in London. Um, this comes with pre-mixed herbs. I've actually got low iron because my diet was hovering just before I fixed up. Um, so yeah, I use these quite regularly. I've got quite a few of these because as I said, my iron's low. I don't take iron from the doctor or iron tablets. Reason being that that iron that you get from the tablet is iron oxide, which is acidic from rock. I like to get my iron from her because it's iron fluorine, which is, um, which is actually alkaline. So it's a little bit of source of an iron and suits your cellular structure a better. So that's why I take that from my iron. Got quite a few of those because I had to stock up, you know. Um, and that's my yellow dot root, which I use for iron also, and also this is great for the liver and many other things. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this one. This is one of my favorites. I say yellow dot root, bio dot root, sea moss, and bladder are the ones I take most regularly. I do tend to buy herbs that obviously suit more my health issues, but I am building a collection, and obviously it's like anything, it's not too it's not good to have too much of a good thing either, so you don't want to be taking loads. Um, as I always say, before you take anything or before you um, try any of these herbs, it's always best to consult a herbalist or a pharmacist just to double check you're okay to take them because that could be bad. Um, so yeah, so I've got quite a few more. More bladder rack. This one's from Herbs of Grace. Really great pricing for the amount you get. You only need a little bit, so I find it lasts quite a while. I love that. Um, chia seeds. Okay, I don't fucking like seeds. I feel like a fucking bird. But I know they're very good for you. I think these are great for omega-3, calcium and iron. They're anti-cancer, amongst many other things. So I tried to sprinkle them on a little bit of cereal or some porridge and just chew them and they'll swallow it whole. I'm just not a fan of sprinkling seeds everywhere. I'm really not. Um, as in terms of, like, taste and texture. But they're so good for you, I just do it because, you know, sometimes you got to do shit you don't like doing, right? I've got horse towel in here. I don't really use horse towel that often. Um, I'll do a separate video on that. I've got holy thistle. Um, I was going to make, um, again, that's in Tesco. I was going to make a recipe with this, but I haven't got around to it yet. Um, I've got chaparral in here, which I've done a video on recently on Instagram. But again, I will go through some of these. Um, burdock root, as I said, I use that one in conjunction with yellow dock root. Love that. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of that. So that is one of my favorites. Um, I've got that one in there. I've also got some... Um, more activated charcoal powder. I actually got this from Amazon. I think it's a really good product and you get quite a lot. Um, I use this as a face mask mixed with coconut oil and water. Um, you can also use this for burns and wounds to clean your, clean your stomach 
out kind of for detoxination and it also is great for whitening your teeth so I do use it as a top up I have had my teeth chemically whitened as well though I'm not going to lie um, but I use this as like a top up because it's not great to use the chemical products all the time um, but yeah you can put a little bit of this in water for the stomach issues as well um, so yeah really really love this product so that's one that I've got and then I've got just some coconut sugar really and Himalayan salt I use coconut sugar when I make things like vegan pancakes to obviously not use processed sugar but again I try not to use loads of that because I'm guessing if I have loads of that that's still not going to be great for me so yeah that's kind of a very brief tour into my herbal cupboard I do have another shelf above which has some essential oils and things like that I've got quite a lot of oils and essential oils so I will do another video going through them as well but this is just to show you kind of my regular ones that I take and kind of my my little, my little collection but as I said I'm building on mine and I tend to pick ones that I feel that I need rather than just trying to get everything because I feel like I'll get confused and then I probably will take nothing so as I said my favorites are sea moss and bladder rack and then yellow dot root and bladder dot root they're the ones that I use most regularly because of my thyroid and my iron um so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll be back soon